My name is Gidon Lev, but I was born Petter Wolfgang Lev in 1935 in Karlovy Vary in former Czechoslovakia. In 1941, my mother, father, grandfather, and I were transported to the Theresienstadt concentration camp near Prague. I was prisoner number eight. Eight, five. I was six years old. My name, this is a picture of my great grandmother, Rosa, my grandfather Fritz, my mother and my father. I am in this photo too, in my mother's belly. This was taken in 1934 in Carlo Ivari. You can see by the smiles but my family had no idea what was coming. My great-grandmother was murdered in Treblinka. My grandfather was murdered in the Warsaw Ghetto. And my father was murdered on the death march in Auschwitz. My mother survived. This is a picture of my grandmother my grandpa Alfred, me, and my father. My family was a secular Jewish family who had lived in Western Bohemia for generations. This part of Czechoslovakia was also known as the Sudetenland, and many ethnic Germans lived there. At home, we spoke German and Czech. The same year this picture was taken, in 1938, Germany annexed the Sudetenland in the Munich Agreement. Overnight, pogroms broke out, and my family and many others fled to Prague. I was three years old. This is the last picture I have of my family together. This photo was taken in 1940 in Prague. We were swimming in the Vrtava River. That's my father, Anush, and my mother, Doris. Only six months after my family arrived in Prague, the Germans invaded. Soon, Jews were not allowed to eat in restaurants, shop at certain stores, go to public parks or swimming pools, or ride the tram. Jews were forced to wear the yellow badge that said Jude. In December 1941, my father and grandfather were transported to Theresienstadt, or Theresien, in Czech. Two weeks later, my mother and I were sent there too. The Nazis called Theresienstadt a model ghetto and used it for propaganda purposes. They wanted the world to believe the Jews were being resettled. In reality, Theresienstadt was a transport camp. Most of the transports were directly to Auschwitz. Jewish youth leaders in Theresienstadt tried to protect the children from the horrible reality all around them by helping them to create art and even put up a place. They tried to protect the children for as long as they could. Approximately 15,000 children were imprisoned in Theresienstadt. Fewer than 100 survived. I am one of those children. This is a drawing of a soccer game that I made while in Theresienstadt when I was nine years old. 
It was found not long after the war ended, along with hundreds of other pieces of art that the children made. The Riesenstadt was liberated on May 8, 1945, by the Soviet Red Army. I remember how excited we all were. Soldiers came and threw us candy. I remember seeing them take away SS officers into the forest. I was 10 years old and very thin. I hardly knew how to read or write. My father was transported to Auschwitz a few months before. He never came back. My mother and I survived, but I lost 26 family members, including my father, my grandparents, my great-grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins. This is a picture of me about a year after liberation. My mother and I waited to hear news of my family members, but nobody came home. After two years, we emigrated to Brooklyn, New York, and then to Toronto, Canada. At first, it was very hard. I did not speak English. In 1959, when I was 24, I came to Israel and worked on a kibbutz. Today, I am 88 years old and have six children, 15 grandchildren, and even two great granddaughters. I am a human rights ally and an activist. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram. Today.